क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सेज दैट टू ब्लॉक्स ऑफ मासल्स थ्री के जी एंड फोर के जी आर कैप्ट इन कॉन्टैक्ट ऑन स्मूथ हॉर्जोंटल सर्फेस अ हॉर्जोंटल फोर्स एफ इज अप्लाइड ऑन थ्री के जी ब्लॉक एस शोन इन द फिगर सच दैट द कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स बिटवीन टू ब्लॉक्स इज सिक्स न्यूटन द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ इज डे स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द नेट फोर्स इन द हॉर्जोंटल डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर के जी ब्लॉक इज सिक्स न्यूटन ओनली विच मीन्स दैट द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द फोर के जी ब्लॉक और फॉर द बोथ ब्लॉक्स वुड बी इक्वल टू द फोर्स दैट इज सिक्स डिवाइड बाई मास दैट इज फोर विच विल बी थ्री बाय टू मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर नो डी स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी कंसिडर बोथ द ब्लॉक्स इज अ सिंगल सिस्टम दैन द इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द टोटल मास ऑफ द सिस्टम वुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस फोर दैट इज सेवन इफ यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द एक्सेलरेशन दैट इज थ्री बाय टू इट शुड बी इक्वल टू द नेट फोर्स एंड हेंस वी कैन राइट दैट एफ वुड बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन बाय टू That will be equal to ten point five newton, and therefore option number one is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the next question. The next question says a trolley is moving on a horizontal surface with constant acceleration a naught is equal to ten meter per second square. A bob of mass one kg is suspended from roof of the trolley. With what horizontal force F should be applied on the bob so that string makes an angle sixty degree with vertical? In equilibrium with respect to trolley, as shown in the figure. Dear students, let us draw the free body diagram of the bob with respect to the trolley. In this particular case, there would be a force of gravity of the weight of the bob that will be mg. It is given that mass of the bob is one kg, so we can write the force of gravity to be equal to ten newton. In the frame of the trolley, there will be a pseudo force as well. Which will have a value of m into a naught. A naught has a value of 10 meter per second square, so m a naught will have a value of 10 newton. Also, a force F is being applied. There will be also a tension that is T. Dear students, as per the diagram, this particular angle is 30 degree. For the vertical equilibrium in the frame of the trolley, we can write that T sine 30. Would be equal to the downward force that is ten, and for the horizontal equilibrium, T cos thirty would be equal to ten plus F. On dividing these two equations, we can write down that tan thirty would be equal to ten by ten plus F, or F would be equal to ten by tan thirty minus ten, which will be equal to ten multiplied by root three minus one. Newton, which makes the option number three of this question as the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number eight. Question number eight says the force time graph of a body of mass one kg is as shown in the figure. Initial velocity of body is twenty meter per second. If initially force is acting along the direction as that of velocity, then the magnitude of momentum of body at t is equal to six second is. The students. we can see that since at t is equal to 2 the force becomes zero the initial value of 10 in further 2 seconds that is at 4 seconds the force will be equal to minus 10 and at further 2 seconds that is 6 seconds the force will be equal to minus 20 newton now dear students the area of force time graph is equal to the change in momentum in this particular case the area can be written as half into 2 into 10 that is area of this part and the area of this part can be written as half into 4 into Minus twenty. This will be equal to minus thirty kg meter per second. Dear students, the final momentum minus initial momentum would be the change in momentum and would be equal to minus thirty, which means that the final momentum would be equal to minus thirty plus initial momentum. In this particular case, the initial velocity of the body is twenty and the mass is one, so the initial momentum is one into twenty, which is twenty kg meter per second. Therefore, dear students, the final momentum can be written as twenty minus thirty, that is 
minus 10. Therefore, dear students, the magnitude of the final momentum would be equal to the magnitude of minus 10, which will be equal to 10 kg meter per second. And hence, option number 3 for this question is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 9. Question number 9 says, a car is negotiating a curved drawer of radius r. The road is banked at an angle theta. The coefficient of friction between the tires of the car and the road is mu naught, where mu naught is less than tan theta. The minimum speed of the car on this road so that it does not slip is. Dear students, we can understand this situation if we draw the physical situation. There is a car which is negotiating a banked road at an angle theta. For the car, if the speed is minimum, there would be an upward limiting friction that is mu n. A centripetal acceleration v square by r would be required. A normal from the road would be there and gravity that is mg would act downwards. Dear students, we can write that in vertical direction n cos theta plus mu n sin theta would be equal to mg which means that n would be equal to mg divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta. In the horizontal direction, we can write that n sin theta minus mu n cos theta would be equal to mv square by r, which means that v square would be equal to gr sin theta minus mu cos theta divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta. On dividing the numerator and denominator with cos theta, we can write down that v would be equal to under root of gr tan theta minus mu divided by 1 plus mu tan theta. And hence, the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3. Now, let us proceed to the next question, which is question number 10. Question number 10 says, a block of mass m is in contact with cart C of mass capital M as shown in the figure. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the cart is mu. The minimum horizontal force F which should be applied on the block so that it does not fall is. Dear students, if we consider the cart and the block as a single system, then the acceleration would be equal to F divided by small m plus capital M. If n is the normal force between the block and the cart, then the normal force would be the force that would provide the acceleration to capital M. We can therefore write that n would be equal to capital M into A, which will be equal to capital M into F by M plus capital M. Dear students, in this particular case, the smaller block small m would not fall if the pulling force that is pulling it downward, that is mg, is less than or equal to the limiting value of frictional force that is mu n, which means that mg should be less than or equal to mu into mf by m plus m. Therefore, dear students, f would be equal to m plus m into g multiplied by small m divided by capital M divided by mu. This is the minimum value of force that is required such that the block does not fall. And if we compare the options, we can easily see that the option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 11. 